Well, on the sidelines of the vibrant Gujarat Summit 2017, Ritu Singh caught up with Sunil Ganoria of Shri Infra on their investment plans and outlook for the year. So let's listen in to what he had to say. Well, I think it's been positive. Uh, Gujarat has been always in the forefront of investments uh, in the country. And uh, the magnitude of this uh, is definitely there. There's a huge interest globally of investors to come in and uh, work on here. So what is the Shri Group planning to invest in uh, Gujarat? Do you have any MOUs that you'd be signing? Yeah, we are working on as a group. Uh, we are looking at the port sector. We are looking at the industrial parks, SCZ area, yeah. uh, where uh, we are involved in, and we are working with the government on that. Could you share your CapEx plans for this year for the group, for FI17? Well, as a financial, see, there are two aspects. One is a financial institution. So Shri, as a financial institution, we expect a good growth this year, the economy has started to grow well in the infra, and the government's focus on that. So we expect a double-digit growth uh, in our uh, new business, in uh, the infrastructure financing business. So, but what is the CapEx plan you have? Well, you see, the CapEx is what? For us, is a financial institution. So we finance, so we expect that we should do over 15,000 crores of new business. Uh, in the current year. So specifically on GST, you're also representing ASOCHAM. Are there any changes in the draft law that you've uh, requested the government to look at? Well, we have only suggested that the uh, entrepreneur should not be subjected to two administration. That must be ensured. Rest, whatever it works out, uh, broadly it is okay. And on the tax rates, on what items should be in what sector, that is what we have recommended. Uh, and broadly and so sync with it. And from the budget, any expectations this time around? Well, I think uh, we should, uh, we are expecting substantial tax cuts, more particularly at the lower levels, uh, and a boost to the infra and the social sector. So just one last question, Shri Infra is always in the news for acquisitions of road assets, of ports, is there anything on the anvil right now? Well, that's a part of a process uh, in our roads. Uh, we are working on to uh, raise capital in our road portfolio. So we will continue to examine that.